Amos Instruments from Harbor Freight is actually putting a lot of people to shame. Let's see how it does with this capacitor. Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Luke, and today we're gonna to be going over all of the different test settings on your Amos Instruments DM300 auto ranging digital multimeter. If you're a beginner or intermediate, you're looking to expand your electrical testing or you're just learning, or you're simply looking for a product review, this video will be for you. So why don't you go ahead, grab a snack, have a seat, enjoy the video, and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, this is a really interesting little meter. I just, I'm trying to figure out, I don't know. I guess it's a, it's like a pocket meter, you know? Auto ranging, digital. Let's run through the wheel and get a lay of the land. I think this is gonna be important to note, rated for 300 volts and no more than 400 milliamps. For AC and DC, there is a lot of functions for how tiny this little meter is. Voltage, when you have a straight and a squiggly line like that, that's to indicate the straight lines for DC, and then this little sine wave here is for AC. We have resistance, continuity and diode, hertz, capacitance, and then milliamps is also rated for AC, DC, and then we have a hold and select button. So let's go ahead. This screen is hard to see. It's not just the camera. It is partially the camera, but it's also just kind of hard to see in general. So bear with me. I'll do my best to capture exactly what's going on here. Let's start with the first setting. It is going to default to a DC setting. And then if we select, then we'll be able to go to the AC. So let's start with some DC voltage. Now, I don't like meters where you can't replace the leads. Leads are like, I like to think of them like guitar strings. They're a wearable item of the meter. And so once these leads are break, then you have to throw the meter away um, because you can't replace them. So that's kind of a bummer. I think I would imagine it wouldn't be too hard to get this thing open and put in a new set of leads. I don't really think that's how it's supposed to be. So let's see, we've got a 12 volt source. Man, these leads are really tiny. Red to red, black to black. Okay, and we can see our 12 volts and then we should be able to hit the hold button. And now that'll hold that measurement for us. And we can see we've got 12 volts DC. Let's see if we could do your typical AC electrical. I don't think these leads are gonna be long enough to, to get in here. Let's make sure it's on the right setting We're on AC voltage. Try to open these little doors. There we go. Kind of fish around in there. I really don't like measuring outlets like this. I'd much prefer an outlet checker just because, yeah, I don't know if these leads are gonna be long enough to pick up um, a measurement out of the outlet. Let's take a measurement further back here. Just verify 120 volts. Great, yeah, it is cool that it's rated for up to 300 volts. I've seen smaller meters like this. They aren't typically rated for that high of voltage. And two, you may be thinking like, well, why 300 volts? Well, if you have a 240, 220 or 240 outlet or power source, I mean, you could in theory check it with this. Two, everyone else around the world, they get hooked up with way higher voltage levels than we do in the US. Next we have resistance. I'm curious to see how this is gonna look. Okay, we're in a mega ohm setting. Let's try, this should be a one mega ohm value. And it is, and we are reading that. And we're reading, okay, so this is saying 1,048,000 ohms or 1.048 mega ohms. Not bad resolution. Keep going down the line. Okay. 98.5. Kilo ohms, that's what that K is for. 
or 98,500 ohms. I'm actually pretty impressed with this so far. Let's see if it keeps it up. Okay, it's saying 0.984 kilo ohms or 984 ohms. Let's go to something kind of just small. Let's see what it says. 68.3 ohms. Okay, the auto ranging function on this little guy, not bad. Pretty impressed so far. Let's keep it going. Let's let's hope it keeps this up. This is fun. Okay, next we got diode and continuity. And it's gonna default to our diode setting, so you'll wanna pay attention to that. We can see our little diode symbol, and then if we hit select, then we'll go to continuity. So we'll start with the default of the diode, and we should see Hopefully we'll see some voltage drop. Okay, and we do. Yeah, really impressive. 0.526 volts or 525 uh, millivolts we're showing there for our voltage drop, which is really great. And then if we go in the other direction, it should continue to have that OL, and it does. A lot of these like cheaper little meters like this won't display an OL, they'll display a one. And that can be really confusing, so it's nice that it, it does that. OL, if you're not familiar, stands for either out of limits or open loop, depending on the context of the uh, measurement that you're trying to make. Let's go ahead and switch on over to continuity. Continuity is good for sorting out who's who. Let's see. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that. It is emitting a tone. It's kind of quiet, but it's there. Okay, so we know that the black wire goes there. And then the red wire goes to there. And then are they shorted or not? Okay, great. Hertz is gonna be our frequency. That's how much something oscillates within one second. So like we can use an AC voltage source here, here in North America, our AC power coming out of the wall oscillates at 60 Hertz. So it rotates from plus to minus 60 times per second and with our Hertz setting we should be able to verify that and there we go we see it a lot of times Hertz functions oh especially on cheaper meters are only rated up to are only rated up to a certain voltage like sometimes it's like 10 or 20 volts so for it to reliably and accurately measure Hertz at 120 volts is really impressive for this. Man, I'm stoked on this. Amos Instruments from Harbor Freight is actually putting a lot of people to shame. Let's see how it does with this capacitor. This capacitor is rated for 680 microfarads. Always discharge your capacitor first. Huh, it's not liking that one. Let's try something smaller. This is saying 2.4, oh, 51 microfarads. And let's see what this one's rated for. 47 microfarads is what this one is rated for. So, okay, it was having a little bit of trouble with a bigger capacitor. And then lastly, we have milliamps. It's rated for AC and DC. Let's just see how the auto ranging function. This should all be under 400 milliamps, I believe. Okay, 36 milliamps. These are all really small to get uh, an idea of how meters do with the small measurements. 12 milliamps. One milliamp, and it's reading that to the thou to excuse me the hundreds, which is impressive. So that's point one two milliamps. It's reading there. That one is actually uh, like one hundred and twenty microamps. Yeah, so that's great. Okay, I give this one a thumbs up, man. This is actually a great meter. I am really impressed by it. I wish I could say that more often on the channel for all of them. Multimeter uh, review videos I do. 
This is great. I would have no regrets getting this. This is, I'm so impressed by this Amos Instruments. I'll have to get more of this brand on the channel. Whoever's doing QC and said that it passed is doing their job. Super great little meter. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I feel like it's priced appropriately for its functionality. A lot of functionality, especially for the size. Uh, yeah, the leads aren't replaceable, but I'm sure you could get in there and replace them. Not too bad. I think this thing was like 20 bucks and that was full price. No coupon or anything like that. I'd say that's a win. So if you're learning electrical testing, if you want to learn more about this stuff, I've got a ton of videos on the channel, a lot of shorts that help with electrical concepts. And then a lot of my long form is just a lot of different examples with different meters and different test settings in case you're looking to get a meter or upgrade your meter or you want to learn more about meters. Um, so anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you on the next one.